Good morning and thank you for tuning in to TV8's Good Morning Vale for this Friday, June 10th edition. This is a live shot of Lion's Head first thing this morning and this is what they're calling Dogtown over the course of the weekend. So if you like those furry friends, this is where you want to go hang out because there's a lot of good activities taking place over there. I'm your in-studio host today, Maddie Evans. We've got the one and only Mark Sassy out and about running around Vail, bringing us all sorts of information on what's happening with the GoPro Mountain Games today and through the rest of the weekend. Now, this is the longest one we've seen yet. It kicked off on Tuesday, and it is continuing until Sunday. We do want to celebrate some national holidays today. Today is National Ice Tea Day. So if you're someone who likes that cold, refreshing drink, well, then iced tea it is, and today is a great day to have that, and especially because we're going to see those warmer temperatures, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Also, if you're really suffering from allergies today, the pollen index is medium high, and the things that you're really seeing kind of blowing through the air with that pollen that's just sticking to everything, your car, camera lenses, your cell phone while you're outside, it's juniper, grass, and centipods. So if you are struggling with allergies, that is why. I know I am pretty badly. My eyes were so itchy yesterday. So. I've been taking some allergy medicine, trying to stay on top of it. A great natural resource. We had Carrie Hogan from Nap Harvest on yesterday, and that honey that you can get from there that they produce locally will help with your allergies. We've got a really good show in store for you as we're going to be talking to some great people. We're going to introduce you to Lamina Jewelers. We're going to be talking with Tegan Davis from the Eagle Valley Library District. And then we've got Stephanie Whitmarsh from Opry Massage coming in to talk about all things relaxing and helping your muscles recover, especially if you're one of these intense athletes that's getting out there during the GoPro Mountain Games. Now, Mark, you're going to give us a look at that local weather forecast, but how is it first thing in Vail this morning? Matt is feeling pretty good out here. As you can see, uh, sun is about ready to make its way up here at uh, the base of Gondola 1, where they're going to be having um, some heated climbing competitions over the next couple of days. Uh, sunshine all day long, that's what's in store for your weather. And temperatures are going to get nice and warm all weekend long also. Big heat wave coming out of the west right now for today. Uh, temperature is about 83 degrees for high temperature in Vail this afternoon. We are going to see clear skies this morning, maybe a little bit of cloud cover mixed with some sunshine this afternoon. Winds out of the west at 10 to 15 with some gusts possibly up to 25 miles per hour. Tonight we're going to see that sun set at about 8.33. It's going to be a clear evening with a low of about 48 degrees. So uh, another nice day on tap for your Saturday. All day long, this is what you can expect today. 8 o'clock this morning, 59 and sunny. By noon, about 75, 79 around 4 p.m., and then 73 to about 8 p.m. Mostly sunny skies all day long. Now, if you're coming up from Denver, you're going to be leaving very warm temperatures, 94 degrees along the Front Range today uh, with a lot of sunshine. And sunny in the mountains also. Avon, 87 today. Eagle, 90 degrees. And then right here in Vail, we're looking at about 83 degrees for that high temperature with mostly sunny skies. Let's jump ahead with our five-day for Saturday here at the GoPro Mountain Games, 85 degrees and sunny with a 20% chance of maybe something showing up in the afternoon, but 20% small percentage. For Sunday, 83 degrees and sunny with a 20% chance. Monday, 80 and sunshine all day long. Tuesday, 70 degrees for high in Vail with a mixture of sunshine and clouds, 20%. Maybe a little bit of cloud cover rolling in the afternoon. Maybe a slight pop-up shower. We'll see. And then Wednesday, 73 and sunny. That's a look at your weather brought to you by Lamina Jewelers. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Maddie has our In the Community segment letting you know what's going on around Eagle County. Then we're going to check in with me, and I'll give you more details here at the GoPro Mountain Games in Vail. We'll be right back. Live life to the fullest and relax with Simply Massage. With the lowest prices in the Vail Valley, there is something for everyone. We offer Swedish deep tissue massages, neuromuscular, reflexology, and cupping. Treat yourself to aromatherapy with essential oils or CBD oils. 
we offer 60 or 90 minute packages. Go to simplymassage.com or call 970-748-1600 to book an appointment today. Get up, get ready to start Love the Good Morning Vale jingle. We want to hear you sing it. Enter our Good Morning Vale Sing the Jingle contest sponsored by TV8 Vale and always Mountain Time. You could have a chance to win some fabulous prize packages and come perform your version live on Good Morning Veil vale to a panel of celebrity judges. For more information and all the contest rules, go to tv8veil.com. Your home in the Rockies has it all. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Hi everybody, my name is Liz Farron and I am the new host of the brand new weekend edition of Good Morning Vale on TV8. Tomorrow morning we're going to take a look at all of the great things that we have going on here for the weekend for the GoPro Mountain Games. There's going to be the Doc Dogs excitement, the interviews with all of the athletes, and all of the great music that follows everything. It's going to be a magical day and I am so proud to be part of the TV8 family and I will be your host and I will see you tomorrow morning for the brand new edition for the weekends on TV8. Good morning, Vale. There's a lot of great things always taking place here in our community and we like to get you in the know before you go. That way you can mark your calendars according to exactly what you want to do. Now I'm going to let Mark Sassy talk all about the GoPro Mountain Games. So I'm going to talk about some of the other great activities you can look forward to here in our community. The Ford Amphitheater is one of those things that we all know and love and especially because it has so many great concerts coming up in just the next couple of weeks. Even this weekend, there's a lot of good concerts happening, but like I said, Mark's going to talk about all of those. So I'm going to talk about everything taking place in the future. You should mark your calendars. I know that I'm counting down the days until the Amos Lee concert is here in our community, only because I've seen him at the Vlar, I've seen him at Red Rocks. He's amazing, and somewhere like the Ford Amphitheater is such a great place to go see these kinds of shows, only because there's not a bad seat in the house, whether you're sitting way up high on that lawn or you're sitting way down low in the seats, you're going to be in a great place and that music is going to be incredible, especially with Vail Mountain as the backdrop of that scenery. Just make sure that you check out their website, that way you can see all the great information and shows that they have coming up. Now we're going to make our way up to the Villar Performing Arts Center as they've just announced their summer schedule and they've even slowly started announcing some of their next winter schedule so they're really on top of it up at the Vlar Performing Arts Center with just over 530 seats this is a really intimate venue that you cannot not love especially because it is so intimate and the acoustics in it are so good that no matter where in the house you're sitting you feel like you're right up next to the artist it's absolutely breathtaking at the Vlar Performing Arts Center for more information on the shows that they have coming up you can go to vlarpac.org now something that we want to talk about for next weekend is Pride in the Park. Now this is a really fun event, third annual this year, and we want to thank Mountain Pride for bringing it to our community because what a cool opportunity for inclusion that we have going on here. Now they are slowly starting to kick off their Pride Week as they did some very fun cocktails at Hovey and Harrison last night. And if you got to go, they added glitter to all of the cocktails that they had made. I saw some posts on social media that made it look like an absolute blast. So you can mark your calendars for June 18th. And starting at 12 p.m., you can get over to Nottingham Park and enjoy the Pride in the park. This is going to be a really fun event. They're still looking for some volunteers, so you can also go to their website and then you can volunteer. It's mountainpride.org. Something else we want to talk about kicking off next weekend is the Vale Farmers Market. Now, if you've never been to the Vale Farmers Market, this is 
one of my favorite summer activities. It happens every Sunday, and there's so many vendors for you to get out there and enjoy. There's great food, there's great produce, there's great art. They really just have it all, and it all comes to Vail, and then there's always live music, and it's just kind of the hustle and bustle that we all know and love that takes place in Vail. Well, now it's going to be here every Sunday starting next Sunday until fall rolls around. So we've got an entire summer of Farmer's Market and those Palisade peaches, rumor on the street is that they're going to be the best they've been this year. Now, if you want to take things a little bit higher and you want to get up there in elevation, you can make your way up to Leadville as they've got so many great summer activities happening and really revamping some of Leadville's rich history. They're bringing their opera house back to life. They're bringing some really fun activities to the streets of Leadville. And now we all kind of know Leadville for its ski drawing throughout the wintertime. Well, how about some donkey races? I mean, I don't know about you, but racing with the donkey sounds pretty enticing also kind of challenging, but pretty fun as well. So you can mark your calendars for all the things taking place in Leadville, and you can go to their website to get the full lineup of events as they're just going to start laying those out there as well. Now, we're going to take it over to Mark, who's going to talk all things GoPro Mountain Games, only because they've got a really busy schedule. And a lot of the places in Vail that were closed for the off-season are now back open due to the kickoff of the GoPro Mountain Games. Mark, I know I'm really excited for a bunch of the things taking place, but you know what I'm most excited for? To hear about what you're competing in at the GoPro Mountain Games. I was, trying, I was trying to keep it on the hush, Maddie, was the plan. I'm going to compete in the fly fishing competition tomorrow, uh, casting competition to qualify to go to the fishing finals on Sunday. But today I think it's going to be all about this location right here as one of the hot spots. Let me show you what's happening up here at the base of Gandhi 1 right now. Now this is the, uh, the climbing wall for the GoPro Mountain Games, and this is one of the stops for the North American Cup. Um, today we are going to see... NC, NACS bouldering will be a full day today for qualifying rounds up here and then leading into a Saturday finals for the record books and for the camera roll. Uh, there's going to be hundreds of people up here. It's awfully quiet first thing. As you can see, uh, all the booths kind of broken down for the past uh, evening time, but this area and the rest of Vail alone is going to come alive real soon for the day for the GoPro Mountain Games as we make our way into the Friday edition up here. And there's stuff happening all around. A couple things I want to mention real fast, other things happening, but I'll tell you, the, the list is, uh, is incredibly robust. There's a lot of things happening. Well, I'll give you more of the details on some of them. Let's say, for example, the North American Cup here in Vail for the climbing. We also have the Slackline shows going on over at Solaris, and then also right over the kayak hole between the International Bridge and the Pedestrian Bridge, um, just kind of, you know, a couple hundred yards towards the south. Um, every day, they're going to be doing it at 11, 12, and 1, if you want to check out some of the Slackliners. Uh, today at, I think, 4 o'clock, we have the Raft Cross, um, and that's going to be sprints down on the river, uh, rafters and spectators speeding the rafts down the river. A lot of carnage going on there with the flows the way they are on the rivers. And then real quick, let me mention what's happening tonight over the Gerald Ford Amphitheater. Government Mule will be performing with Warren Haynes and Grace Potter. That's tonight at 630 at the Gerald R. Ford Amphitheater. Um, and that's just one of the many performances going on at the little places all around Eagle County, right here in Vail for the GoPro Mountain Games. The amphitheater, a big location just to the east of where we are here in Vail Village. And then we have, uh, we've got Jam in the Van. There's a lot of different venues for the music all around the GoPro Mountain Games. And I'll give you more of those details here in just a little bit. We're going to take a break. I'm going to make my way down towards the river. This is our Friday edition live from the GoPro Mountain Games. This is Good Morning Vail on TV8. When people think of world-class destinations, they're drawn to a place that provides opportunities for fine dining, shopping, superior lodging, exciting events, and unparalleled outdoor activities. Park City, Utah and Vail, Colorado are renowned destinations for travelers and extraordinary homes for residents. Feature your exceptional products and services in these two luxury communities. Advertise with Park City Television and TV8 Vail. Contact us today. Step on, take a look around, and take a listen. 
Relax to the rhythm of the train on the tracks. For the kids, and the kid in all of us, the Leadville, Colorado and Southern Railroad. Hi, my name is Tegan Davis with the Eagle Valley Library District, inviting you to get a library card at any of our branches, Avon, Eagle, or Gibson Public Libraries. If you're a visitor, a full-time resident, or just here for work, you can get a library card just by stopping in and bringing your photo ID. With your library card, you can check out anything in our libraries as well as our online collection. For more information, please visit evld.org. In the heart of the Vale Village, on the corner of One Willow Bridge Road, across from Solaris, is Lamina Jewelry. We have one of the largest selections of designer, fine, and fashion jewelry in the Vale Valley. In addition to our unique and one-of-a-kind jewelry pieces, we have museum-quality fossils and minerals that you truly have to see to believe. We pride ourselves on our customer service and knowledge of your pieces. Come in as a customer, leave as a friend. If you're looking for something for the kids to do, well, the Eagle Valley Library District is going to have something all summer long, and Tegan Davis is here to walk us through one of your very fun crafts. Good morning, Tegan. Good morning. Thank you for having me and being willing to do this. Of course. So, um, I mean, who doesn't love touching <laughs> a fake flounder? A fake flounder, first thing in the morning. Yes, yeah, so we got fake fish today, so I have a wide mouth bass, and then you have the flounder. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do um, gayutaku fish printing, uh, and this was developed in Japan uh, 100 or so years ago. The sports fishermen wanted to see, record what they were catching and also how big it was. Um, so they used squid ink and they would cover the fish because of course they want to sell the fish on the market so it can't be paint, we're right. using paint. Um, and then they would um, get the squid ink all over the fish and then they would press it down and then they would have a record of what fish they caught and how big it was so that they could get the um, appropriate funds for that fish. So we're going to try it. Um, right. And this year's theme is Oceans of Possibility. So the kids and the teens are going to be able to do some fish printing with us at the library for free. Thank you. Um, this does soak up some paint, so just kind of dab and then just we're smearing dab. it on. Yep. All right. We're going to go. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to. Uh, yep. Just, just paint it on like you would. If and then you were the more, a child. Yes. <laughs> I love getting to be a child in the morning. And then the more detail, if you can get really into the fence, the more your prints will pick up. Okay. Which, is, which will make the fish pop on your paper. And then you can like decorate it with like an ocean theme around yes. it. Yes. Um, so we're, the kiddos and the teens are going to do a background first. Our background wouldn't have dried in time. Um, and then we've got <laughs> some acrylic or some pastel oil crowns that you can decorate. Add some seaweed or coral if you want to for your fish. And Maybe then, my fish is just like an. You got the bigger one. <laughs> obscure, like he just wants to hang out and be by himself. Right. And, you know. Well, flounders are, flounders are on the bottom. And then you stick it on there. And then when you press, you want to be kind of not so wiggly. Otherwise, your fish will pop out with like two heads or two tails. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I haven't quite gotten the technique down. But this is just one of the crafts the kids are going to do and the teens at the library for Oceans of Possibility for free. And we have crafts and activities all summer long to keep the kiddos engaged. So there's, there's my bass. All right, hold on. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. Turned Look at okay? that fin detail. Yeah. I'm going to just, like, press really hard on this guy. <laughs> he, got, he has a little reflection there. Uh, All right. I got the table, too. Let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, look at your flounder. I think that <laughs> turned out pretty good. There we go. <laughs> it's like a nice, solid fossil, except for his face didn't really translate, but I got his fin, so. <laughs> I think that turned out really well. <laughs> And then with your with the acrylic crowns, what you can do is you can add in the detail. We'll have gel pens too for the kiddos. And then you can just like color them in, add in more detail, add some, I'm gonna do blub blub. I'm gonna give him some bubbles. There you go. Um, yeah, he's having like a good it. time. He's um, just hanging out. He's just hanging out and you can add some seaweed. Well, due to the fact that mine doesn't have a face, there's no well, bubbles coming out of it. Well, you could, you could add the detail. You could kind of outline outline your fish with 
um, whether you got my seaweed is very very quick today it's not very impressive but <laughs> oh, wait, hold on here we go here's his face see there you go yeah there he is <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Mom, I'm really artistic. <laughs> I can't wait to bring this home and let you put it on the refrigerator. Exactly. Frame it. Frame She's going to be house. like, oh, your little brothers could have done it better, Maddie. <laughs> uh, so this is all part of the summer reading it, program because you guys are kicking it off. And you're doing it for adults, too. We are doing it for adults. So, so you can come in, you can get your reading log, and you can get prizes for reading all ages, 0 to 5, K through um, 5th grade, teens, and then adults. You can all get prizes for summer reading. And then we have activities for free all summer long for children and teens. So they just come on the day for um, at the library, whatever branch, Eagle, Gypsum, or Avon, and we have activities that they can participate in, and this is one of them. And this is a cool activity because it's like a flashback to the past. It's giving you some great yes. history yes. information, kind of letting you live through another culture and see how it was done a hundred years ago. <laughs> and then it also, you get to be creative. Like, you, you've got nice seaweed. Oh, well, yeah, my seaweed could be worked on a little bit there. <laughs> um, but yes, you, you get you get to um, hands-on activities. You get to get a little messy. But then you also get to recreate kind of some, um, some historical uh, record of your very silicone fish. So we're not using real fish and we're not using real squid ink, but um, you get the gist. I mean, yeah, if you use your imagination, this is a real <laughs> flounder. It's just less stinky. Exa well, exactly. And then and you're not selling it on the market, so you don't have to worry about taking care of it later. <laughs> yeah, getting that squid ink off, making yes. it look brand new. So if people are interested, it's super easy to get a library card. That's it the is first very... step into yes. participating and then if you go in and you are an adult like myself who you want to participate then you just grab all the information yep. and it makes it nice and convenient. That's right and so if you're a visitor resident you can come in and get a library card um, for free. You can also come in and participate in our programs. You don't need to have a library card to participate in the programs but if you would like to check materials out with you that you see in the library and bring them home um, you would need that library card and we try to make it as easy as possible. And some other really great things that you guys have that some people don't know for the summer season is you have things like camping chairs, yes. an adventure adventure backpack, yep. trekking poles, trekking poles, you name it. And we got the Colorado State Park Pass, which is just popping right now. So um, you can check out a Colorado State Park Pass at your library. We have six bags. You can either reserve it or you can walk in, and if it's there, you can take it out. Um, and you can hit our 42 state parks. Which is incredible, and especially because summer is here. Summer's camping, here. Camping yes. season is here <laughs> right now. It is. Um, get out, enjoy the blue skies and, and the green and, yeah, and the water that we have around, and yeah, have a good time. If people are interested in reserving it, can they just go online, or do they give you guys a phone call? Um, they can give us a phone call, or they can stop off at any library, and we'll get, we have a book. We can reserve it. Um, and then we have what we call our lucky day bag. So there's one in each branch, and so if you walk in and it's there, it's your lucky day. You can, you can <laughs> head on up to Sylvan if you want to. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. Uh, doing some fun crafts with us first thing this morning. This is great. <laughs> I'm I love, glad you like I love, it. I love, I love these. <laughs> make sure, make sure that you check out the, the Eagle Valley Library District. It's super easy to get your library card. All you have to do is walk in there with a photo ID, and then you can do cool things like this. We're gonna take a short break, <laughs> and when we come back, we've got more Good Morning Vale. Hi, I'm Danielle Turner, the Vice President and General Manager of TVA Vail. And I'm Maddie Evans, host of Good Morning Vail. We want to thank the Vail Valley for welcoming us back into their homes. We're committed to bringing you the content you love produced locally right here in our valley. That's why we hope you stay tuned all summer long as we bring you expanded editions of Good Morning Vail, Flashback on Vail Valley, The Rise, the TV8 Visitors Bureau, and brand new episodes of Colorful Cooking. And a big thank you to the advertisers who have supported us along the way. If you'd like to join us on our journey, check us out at tv8vale.com, across all of our social media platforms, or on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92. There's more for you on 92. Each week on The Tech Show, you can look forward to the latest in technology and how you can use it too. We'll also chat with leading experts and you'll find out if the latest gadget will take my money or not. Don't miss the tech show, tech your local listings. Time to rise and shine? There's no better way to start your day than with Good Morning Veil Crew. 
Get your news, sports, weather, dining, community events, and so much more. We'll start your morning off right at 7 a.m. And now you can find us seven days a week. You bring the coffee, we'll bring the fun. Live stream us at tv8bill.com or watch us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92. There's more for you on 92. It's another beautiful day to get out there and enjoy the sunshine. We are going to see the sun out in full force today. Yesterday we saw a little bit of cloud coverage, and that's not really going to be a thing for today. 59 degrees around 8 a.m., a high of 83. We're going to see those west winds 10 to 15 miles an hour throughout the course of today. So as we take a look at Vail by the Hour, you can see those temperatures progressively warming up. That high is going to settle between that 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock hours. Temperatures cooling down starting at around 8 p.m and we'll see them get into the low 70s. Mostly sunny skies, maybe just a little bit of cloud coverage, but that high pressure system sitting above us right now. As we take a look at that I-70 corridor, the temperatures down in Denver are nice and warm. 94 degrees in Denver, beautiful sunshine. 83 in Vail, 87 in Avon, 90 in Eagle. So both out to the east and to the west of us, they're definitely getting a little more heat than we are here in the high country. As we take a look at Vail overnight tonight, temperatures cooling down and over overnight low of 48 degrees. That sun's still going down just a little bit later. 8.33 is when it's going to go down. Now we're going to see east-southeast winds, 5 to 10 miles an hour throughout the course of this evening. So if you are getting out there to do anything like maybe enjoy the show, just be prepared to bundle up a little bit. Now as we take a look ahead into the next five days, tomorrow a slight increased chance of precipitation, 20% chance of moisture on Saturday and Sunday. Now we could definitely use this precipitation and especially because those temperatures are still going to be lingering in the low 80s. So it is definitely going to be warm out there by Monday, 80 degrees. Starting to cool down on Tuesday, partly cloudy skies, increased precipitation again on Tuesday and then on Wednesday we'll start to see those temperatures slowly warm back up. If you're looking for something great to do on the 4th of July, well Beaver Creek is the place that you want to go. We want to thank the Beaver Creek Resort Company for bringing you this weather report this morning. Now we're going to take it over to Mark who's going to give us some more information on what's taking place in Vail. <laughs> hey everybody, uh, back here on the river right on Gore Creek between <clears throat> excuse me, the covered bridge and the international bridge right in front of up the creek in um, El Segundo. I want to give you a little information about the fly fishing around Eagle County right now, then we'll talk about the fishing competition here uh, with the GoPro Mountain Games. Uh, river levels are still up. We saw big water levels um, probably two and a half weeks ago, and then we had a very cold snap. The river levels on the Eagle River in Avon we're teetering around two grand, 2,000 cubic feet per second. It got cold and it snowed a little bit for three or four or five days. River levels dropped to about seven or 800. It got real good. And now with this warm weather that's back, these river levels have bounced up dramatically. Uh, right here on Gore Creek, it's manageable, but on the Eagle River, which is about uh, 20 minutes to the west, uh, we saw those levels bump up yesterday to you know, 18,000, 1,800, 1,900. So big levels right now on the rivers. Fly fishing is pretty good. It's going to get better here as these levels drop and these water temperatures warm up. Um, but I run Minturn Anglers in Minturn. We have trips going out every day. If you want to go fish, give us a call. Um, just go with a guy because they're going to help you do it the right way, whether you're fishing from a float fishing boat, a drift boat, or a raft, or if you want to go do a wade fishing trip and stand on the shoreline or, you know, on the edge of the water. Now for the GoPro Mountain Games right here, uh, tomorrow uh, is the uh, Two Fly Extreme qualifying round number one over at Ford Park where you're casting at targets under a certain amount of time and you have to earn points. And then if you make enough points, you will qualify to come over here, uh, right over there to the pedestrian bridge and the international bridge in that area where they have the second round of qualifying. 
Now, out of all the competitors that have tried to qualify, I think they take 15 on Sunday to the rivers to actually fish for the finals with the $3,000 prize purse is what you can win uh, for first place along with a new Orvis rod and some new Orvis waders. Uh, but the trick on that one is you only get to use six flies total, two patterns, so six flies. Fishermen have thousands of flies, but to have to pick just a couple that you think are gonna work, it makes it even trickier. I know the uh, registration is closed for the qualifying and for that event right now, it closed yesterday. But come check it out tomorrow, right here at the bridge at about one o'clock, along with all the other activities. You can go to gopromountaingames.com or go to Discover Vail for more information. We're gonna take a quick break. We have Stephanie Whitmarsh in the studio with Maddie, uh, hyping up a little of massage action, opera massage to be exact. We'll be right back. Here at Sun and Ski Sports, we are all about helping you find the right gear for your best adventure. Come explore our selection of skis, snowboards, bikes, clothing, and footwear. Stop by our full service shop to learn more about how we help keep your equipment at peak performance and our assortment of rentals. Remember, whatever your adventures may be, you can find all your gear here at Sun and Ski Sports. Call or visit us in Avon or Dillon or learn more at sunandski.com. And I'm Kevin Shields, host of Good Morning Vale. TV8 is kicking into high gear this summer, launching some exciting new programming like Flashback on Vale Valley, a nostalgic show taking a look at some old TV8 segments. We're also launching The Rise, a look behind the scenes with local and touring bands. And don't forget to submit an entry to our Good Morning Vale Sing the Jingle contest. No matter the season, we're here for you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Remember, you can always catch us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92. There's more for you on Channel 92. Live life to the fullest and relax with Simply Massage. With the lowest prices in the Vale Valley, there is something for everyone. We offer Swedish deep tissue massages, neuromuscular, reflexology, and cupping. Treat yourself to aromatherapy with essential oils or CBD oils. We offer 60 or 90 minute packages. Go to simplymassage.com or call 970-748-1600 to book an appointment today. Good morning, Vail! <laughs> Welcome back to Good Morning, Vail. The giggles on the couch have already started with Stephanie Whitmarsh from Offre Massage. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Ms. Maddie. How are you today? Uh, well, you know, anytime I get to sit on the couch and giggle with you, I'm doing it 10 out of 10. And like... You don't, I don't even have to prompt you. You just start Googling and it makes me so happy. It's an automatic. It's, it's an the, automatic. She's wearing yellow because she is sunshine and she's just radiating the sunshine. <laughs> it's hard to be this happy this early in the morning and you crush it every time. Yeah, I do, don't I? You do. <laughs> you do for sure. So right now... <laughs> Making oh no. my eyes water. Oh no, oh no sorry. Okay. Serious. We'll, okay, serious. We'll tone it down. All right, so right now, mm -hmm. Opera Massage is back open. Yes. And you guys have so many great things to offer the community. We do, we do. We actually have some really awesome things. So right now, our 60-minute massages at the Highline Hotel are only $100. Well, that's like unheard of yes. to get a 60-minute massage in Vail for less than $150. Yes. Absolutely. So 60 minute massage, um, $100, and you still get to enjoy the beautiful Highline Hotel, um, all of its great amenities. We have the saltwater hot tub. We have just the beautiful layout that they've done. And then starting here in a couple weeks, we're actually going to be doing chair massages out there as well in the evening by the pool. I know. So like if you go, you get your massage there, then mm -hmm. you can enjoy the pool, and then you can get a massage by the pool. Mm -hmm. It's like going on a, an all-inclusive vacation, but like right here in our own backyard. Absolutely, absolutely. 
and us locals deserve that. We deserve, you know, to be able to just to chill out and relax and be able to enjoy the ambiance of our beautiful nature scene that we have back there. It's really beautiful and amazing. It's nice and calming. Um, it's They've done such a beautiful job with it out there. I just can't really talk too much about it. I'm really excited about doing chair <laughs> massages out there because I love being outside and it's just a great area just to be able to enjoy. And I'm really looking forward to being able to be out there almost every day is what I'm planning on. And um, we're really excited about that. We still have facials um, with our Sentitas products. And of course, we love Sentitas because it's a local Colorado company. And then we have our amazing therapists, our amazing estheticians. They're ready and waiting to take care of you. And we're back open, which is a great, great thing. And we're excited for the summer. We are excited for the summer. And one great way you can really take care of your skin, especially now that the sun is out, yep. we're at such a high elevation, We'll go a few days without seeing any precipitation, mm -hmm. so it's really easy for it to dry out. And you can go to Opera Massage and get a hydrofacial. Yes. <laughs> huge deal. That's a huge deal. It is a I huge mean, deal. I, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't put hardly anything on my face. I do put sunscreen every day because, you know, my mom's always yelling in the back of my head, put sunscreen on. But <laughs> other than that, I don't do a whole lot. But the hydrofacials are absolutely amazing. They feel like you've just been completely cleaned your skin. It's like baby fresh. It's amazing. Which it's important to take care of your skin and especially as there's all of that pollen. We've been talking about it all morning. You like step outside and you can hold your phone screen up and it will just like collect enough for the bees to create a new species of plant. Absolutely. By all of the pollen collecting <laughs> and that's getting into your poise. And so yes. the hydrofacial is going to wipe all of that right out. Absolutely. And especially if you have allergies as well. A lot of people, of course, have really bad allergies. Getting all of that out of your pores. I mean, you could wash your face and don't get me wrong. We do a really good job, but if you can get everything out of your pores, get them completely clean, then of course all of that's going to go away. All the dirt and grime throughout the day, the winds have been insane on top of everything else. And with the sun being out there, we're showing more skin. Hydrofacials also go through the neck and a little bit through the top of the chest. So therefore you can get all of this done as well. This is one of those ways of being able to take care of your skin. You only have one set. That's it. That's all you get. You get one. <laughs> so we want to make sure that we keep it as radiant with as much hydration and no junk put into it. We put makeup on, we put stuff on, and we're throwing that into our pores and getting that out is just a beautiful thing for our skin. Makes it last longer, makes it look younger, because, I mean, we all want to look younger, right? Right. <laughs> That's what we work on on a daily basis, eating healthy and exercising, and getting enough rest and water, water, water which when you get a hydration facial, you need to, no matter if you get a regular facial, a hydrofacial, or a massage, you do need to hydrate yourself. Getting the hydrofacial, you're still getting quote unquote worked on. Right. Your, your body, your skin is still getting worked on. You need to have that water to flush your system, to get rid of all of the toxins and everything that either while you're getting a facial or a massage, and you're getting that out of your body and it's not going to go back and sit somewhere else and make something else hurt. Right, and like come up in a different way. You clean your face, you get your face skin all pretty and then it like turns into a rash on your arms or something. You don't want that. It's not going to be very fun. Precisely, precisely. Or after getting a massage, you know, if you don't drink enough water, you will actually be really sore the next day, especially if you get a deep tissue massage. You will be extremely sore the next day need to drink that water, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. It's really important. And so if people are interested in booking any of these great amenities that you guys have, just coming to spend some time, hang out by the pool, get a massage, get a facial, how can they do so? Well, you could definitely just call Caitlin. Caitlin <laughs> knows anything and everything. She is absolutely amazing with facials as well. She understands all of the aspects of everything. She could put you with the right person or just go to offermassage.com.
It's that simple. Stephanie, thank Very you simple. so much for coming in and just being the cute little ray of sunshine <laughs> and giggles that you always are in the morning. I appreciate it so always much. Always welcome. Mm -hmm. And you always make sure that we're taking care of our skin and yes. our bodies properly. Yes. Because it's important. Yes. <laughs> Gotta keep taking care of that body. You only have one. Only have one. <laughs> Words to live by today. If you only have one. Yes. <laughs> Stephanie, <Just> one. <laughs> again, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Always. Make sure that you check out Opre Massage. You can go to their website to make sure that you're taking care of not only your skin, especially your face, and especially while that sun is out and we're seeing those drier conditions. It's important that you do that, but also take care of your body because you only have one. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we've got more Good Morning Vale. Welcome aboard. Bobby Laurie and Nikki Noya have your ticket to everything you need for an on-the-go lifestyle. Grab your boarding pass. It's time to jet set. All aboard! Step on. Take a look around. And take a listen. Relax to the rhythm of the train on the tracks. For the kids, and the kid in all of us. The Leadville, Colorado and Southern Railroad. Hi, I'm Lori Barnes, Director of Vail Public Library, and I invite you to join us here at our library to find materials in multiple formats, fiction, nonfiction, children's, periodicals, there's a plethora of materials here for you. The way you get that is through your library card. If you are visiting, living, working in the Vail Valley, you are welcome to have a library card. Simply come in with your photo ID and we will serve you and allow us to transform you at Vail Public Library. Hi, I'm Maddie Evans. I'm Blake O'Rulian. Do you love the outdoor lifestyle? Well, then we've got you covered in four great mountain towns. Park City, Utah, Vail, Colorado, Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and Reno, Tahoe. You can tune into Park City TV, TV8 Vail, or at thescoreboardnation.com. We'll see you there every day at 6.30 p.m. I'm standing here in Lamina Jewelers. It's such a beautiful place to come shopping and really enjoy that sunshine as there's so many great places around here, but the beautiful jewelry and the expert here, <laughs> Elizabeth, to give us some information on all of the fabulous colors you have in front of us. So spring is upon us, and you know, the best part about the springs is the light, beautiful, ethereal colors that you could rock right now. I mean, it's all about tying your outfits together, and I'm in some pretty, like, neutral tones right now. I think something of some bright color would really spark up my outfit, so let's talk about the colors you have in front of us. So uh, these three colors are beautiful, almost pastel. You have pink, green, and blue. Very light, very spring-like, very easy to wear, even if they're big stones. So right here, you have a morganite on the left, which is a beautiful pink stone. It could be champagne to pink to ballerina pink. It's varied stone, and it's a beautiful stone in large quantities, so you can get that really great color. And we have all ours set in rose gold, which really brings out that pink color. And you know, pink for spring you know why not exactly and the way that the color sits in the rose gold you're right it does bring that pop of color and once you said that champagne tint I was like I can exactly see that here in some of these pieces really just making them a unique piece and also a statement piece at the same time oh yeah I love morganite just because you can dress it up or down you can wear it every day if you want but you put it on a black dress and go out to dinner it's gonna be really really stunning um, it's a, just an easy stone to wear, and it's the color of spring. Like, it's a very popular color, uh, summer color for us. It is a very popular color, and it's just one of those things that you don't get to see very often. Normally when you hear, like, high-end, fabulous jewelry, everyone's brain goes straight for those diamonds, I feel like, and this gives you that alternative color where you're still going to feel as elegant as if you were in a diamond, but yet you're going to have that little bit of color to really just spice things up. It's always great to wear diamonds, but color is in. It's definitely in, layering color, 
Um, big pieces, it's kind of the season to wear big pieces, but lighter pieces. So if you wanna stay with big pieces, you go lighter in color. Like this set right here is a beautiful set by Bellari, which is amazing designer, and she uses these big, beautiful stones. And this particular set is very unique because it uses green amethyst, or it's called Pregiolite. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a very light, almost uh, pastel -y green. It's really, really pretty. And from some previous interviews, I know that she is the queen of colors. She brings it out. So she hand selects these stones and makes the pieces around them in order to accent that color the best to her ability, correct? Oh yes, she is definitely the queen of color and she cuts all her own stones. So all these are one of a kind unique cuts. They're not a standard cut. So she really plays with the color of the stone. So it maximizes its color potential which we love to see and we love just to like add the color all together. I think that if you could pair some pink with some green and really just bring that pop of summer and spring into your wardrobe, this is a great way to do it. And then of course, you can add in a little bit of the blue that we have here on the end because this blue is stunning and all of these pastel colors, you're right, are just breathtaking. Yeah, so if you want a more traditional stone but still want to stay with the lighter color, aquamarine is a fantastic stone to work with. It's really light, it's very feminine, but a little bit more that like baby blue, you know, it's a great lighter stone for someone with like a lighter skin tone. Um, if you don't want to go with like the warmer greens or pinks, this is a little bit cooler of a color that you could wear all summer long and it's just a fantastic classic color to wear. Well, and then transitioning into like winter season with this, kind of giving that ice queen vibe. So throughout the summer, you're like that cherry like butterfly, and then you can transition into ice queen for the winter time, which is perfect. There you go. It's all seasons appropriate. <laughs> it is all seasons appropriate. And so you have so many different options, and you've got different settings and shapes and sizes, and you guys really spend the time to hand select each and every piece that's in here. So this is all a labor of love by you guys. Oh yes, so we're very picky about our stones, our settings. We want people to come in and have a wide selection of sizes, colors, shapes, settings, all sorts of things. So you really can get a wide variety of pieces. So you can everything get everything from the dainty all the way to the big and chunky. So I have something for everybody. And you know, as we approach the warmer time of year, it is wedding season. And there's that famous saying, something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. Oh, yeah. So this is a perfect place for people to come in and kind of just really bring everything that they need for something like a wedding, an elegant piece, to just kind of stand out a little bit together. Oh, yeah. We have people all the time that are coming in for weddings, and they want to get something from Vail to commemorate the you know occasion, whether they're the bride or a guest. We have something that kind of fits every occasion. So yeah, you could come in here and find something perfect for your outfit for a wedding that you're attending. Which I love, I love the pink. And I'm not a real gold person or rose gold person. I tend to stick to those silvers, but these pieces, the way that the pink and the gold, the rose gold accent each other are so incredible that this is something that like everyone should just have a piece of in their wardrobe. And Morganite's a really easy stone to wear. It's just, it's an easy one to have. You can pair it with diamonds. You don't have to have all Morganite. You can mix and match, and especially that's the trend. No one has sets anymore. They love to mix and match and have fun colors and fun combinations. And so if people are interested in coming to shop and maybe check out the Morganite or any of the other colored stones, where can they do so? How long are you guys open? When are you going to be here? <laughs> I'm here all the time. <laughs> uh, but we are open 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. during the summer, um, seven days a week. We are in the Solaris Plaza. Um, you'll see us across from this ice skating rink, this big, beautiful windows full of jewelry and fossils and minerals, all sorts of stuff. We don't have just jewelry. We have other th cool things, too. Um, so, yeah, we're pretty much open every day, and I'm here almost every day. But... Um, our jewelry is always here. And you guys are such experts in this space. You can come in and talk to anyone here at Lamina Jewelers, and they'll be able to tell you the stone, the quality of the stone, the cut of the stone, the size of the stone. You'll get all of your information from the experts here at Lamina Jewelers. Elizabeth, thank you so much for meeting us. It was lovely having you here. We love coming in here. We love to do some shopping. Make sure that you come check out Lamina Jewelers if you're in the market for some fabulous jewelry or some fossils and minerals to upgrade your home. This is your one-stop shop for all you need. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we've got more of the show. Good morning.
Here at Sun and Ski Sports, we are all about helping you find the right gear for your best adventure. Come explore our selection of skis, snowboards, bikes, clothing, and footwear. Stop by our full service shop to learn more about how we help keep your equipment at peak performance and our assortment of rentals. Remember, whatever your adventures may be, you can find all your gear here at Sun and Ski Sports. Call or visit us in Avon or Dillon or learn more at sunandski.com. The mountains are a place for adventure and a space for renewal. Enjoy our cozy piece of the mountain. Relax and reset in total tranquility after any adventure. We offer therapeutic massage and restorative facials with some of the best remedies and techniques nature has to offer. Ask about our Hydrofacial MD facial system that uses patented technology to extract and infuse the skin. Our locally owned boutique spa is located inside the Highline Vale. Nourish your mind and body. Discover True Veil at Opre Massage and Facials. We're going to take another look at that local weather forecast. Throughout the course of today, we will see that sun out in full force. High of 83, west winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. So if you are getting out there, especially we've been talking about that pollen blowing all morning, just be prepared for that throughout the course of today. As we take a look at Vail by the Hour, mostly sunny skies taking place later in this afternoon. We'll see a little bit of cloud coverage, but it's going to be high cloud coverage, so no real chance of precipitation, as we are seeing a high pressure system set above the state of Colorado. Now, as we take a look at Vail overnight tonight, temperatures cooling down, 48 degrees is our overnight low. That sun setting just a little bit later, 8.33 is when it's going to start to go down. East-southeast winds, 10 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now, as we take a look at that I-70 corridor, the temperatures down in Denver are definitely nice and warm. 94 degrees in Denver, 83 degrees in Vail, 87 degrees in Avon, 90 degrees in Eagle. So feeling like summer, both out to the east and to the west of us, and even here in the mountains. Now, as we take a look ahead into the next five days, tomorrow, slight increased chance of precipitation continuing into Sunday, but those temperatures are staying in the 80s. So it's definitely going to be a nice warm weekend to get out there and enjoy the GoPro Mountain Games. By Monday, 80 degrees, and then as we continue in to early next week, we will start to see those temperatures cool down just a little bit. We're going to take it over to Mark, who's at the GoPro Mountain Games right now, wandering around, and it looks like he's having some fun on his early morning adventure. Mark, where are you now? Uh, I'm in my way over to Solaris, but there's a lot of action happening right now. i got all the guys from the Vail Valley Foundation getting things set up for um, what they're thinking is going to be a record number of people showing up today, tomorrow, and for Sunday. As you can see, this is what we're looking at right now. Trucks coming in, people kind of waking up for the day, the, the, uh, the Vail Valley Foundation team kind of getting ready, Dave Dressman. I've got Ross Leonhardt over there and the rest of the crew, but they got to get the trucks in and out before things get real busy here for the day. Uh, this is the GoPro Mountain Games, the 20th anniversary. And a uh, lot of new vendors here worth checking out. Come spend some time in Vail, everybody. Uh, and parking is free in the parking garage, so you can uh, find plenty of places, but get here kind of early just to cover your butt to make sure that you find a spot because it will get busy and that parking lot will fill up. And then once that parking spot's full, you can make your way over to Lion's Head. Um, get active, though, everybody. This is the GoPro Mountain Games. We are live here in Vail first thing this morning. And uh, it's going to be a sunny weekend. Sunscreen and hydrate. Drink plenty of water. 
and apply that sunscreen often because it's going to be a warm, active weekend here in Vail. I got Ross real quick. Ross, I got about 10 seconds for you to say hi. You got to get close to my microphone, though. Hello. Ross Leonhardt right here with the, the Vail Vail Foundation. GoPro. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Not ready for a weekend Tell me. of fun. Yeah. It's getting cranked up. Yeah, it? the amp was awesome last night. The concert, First Mountain Some Music concert was awesome last night. Another good show there tonight. Some awesome climbing today right at Mountain Plaza. Yeah, Check yeah. out the dogs. Keep an eye out for Brody, that dude. He's very popular out here this weekend, the Golden <laughs> Doodle. Uh, lot, get out here if you're not here. Brody the Doodle? Brody the Dude. Is he the machine? He's, He's the big dog with long hair with the ponytail getting walked around and carried around. So. He's not jumping in the pool, though, is he? I don't think he is, no. No, he's, he's, those doodles are afraid of water. Yeah. No, they're not. I have a doodle. They're not afraid of water. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for everything you guys have done. This is awesome. Yeah, have a great weekend, everyone. We got Maddie about ready. We're going to go say hi to Maddie. Want to say hi to Maddie real quick? Say, hey, hey what's Maddie. up, Maddie? Maddie, we're coming back to you in the studio. Uh, come to Vail, though. It's the GoPro Mountain Games 20th anniversary, 20 right? years, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Make it a good one, everybody. Hey, back to you, Maddie. It's nice out here. Come see us. Oh, my gosh, Mark. Thank you so much. Hi, Ross, if you see this. Good to see you in the morning. We'll see you in just a little bit. I'm actually going to go meet with Ross to run around and get some more great information on what's taking place on the GoPro Mountain Games. But there's some exciting news taking place here at TV8. Did you know that we just launched a weekend show? We're going to be with you all weekend long, and we're going to be bringing you some great information, some great athlete interviews, and just bringing you the fun of what's taking place at the GoPro Mountain Games. So make sure that you tune in tomorrow, where we'll be here with you from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. on both Saturday and Sunday, and we're really excited about this launch, as it's been something that we've been looking forward to for quite a bit of time. And I know that a lot of you at home have been looking forward to this as well. So make sure that you turn your TV on tomorrow. We'll bring the co well, you bring the coffee, we'll bring the fun tomorrow morning. So just make sure that you tune in. It's gonna be another great day. Get out there, soak up that sunshine. Like Mark said, apply that sunscreen. I don't know if you can tell right now, but my shoulders have this nice pink tint to them because someone forgot to apply their sunscreen before running around the GoPro Mountain Games yesterday. So make sure that you put your sunscreen on, but get out there, have a great day, wear your sunscreen, protect your eyes, make sure you're taking good care of your dogs out there in the heat as well. I know that the GoPro Mountain Games is a friendly event for the dogs, but make sure that you have a way to cool them down, especially as we're going to see those warmer temperatures. And we're going to see all those dogs out there enjoying jumping into that pool. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. Get out there. Have a great day, everyone. Happy Friday. Things to see and do Summer, winter, spring